It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Officer of Payne Capital Management. And good things come in small packages, as was the case this week on the Street of Dreams, as the Russell 2000 Index rose to an all-time record high. Now, the Russell 2000 Index, also known as the Small Cap Index, is a stock index made up of about 2,000 small companies. The average market value of stocks in the Russell 2000 is 2.5 billion. Now compare that to the stock of Apple, a large cap company that is closing in on a market value of, get this, $1 trillion. Now, one of the reasons for small caps outperformance over their large cap counterparts has been the recent strength in the US dollar. Big companies like those in the S&P 500 get half of their sales from overseas and a stronger dollar translates into lower revenues. Small companies are less impacted by a stronger dollar. That's simply because US goods sold abroad become more expensive as the dollar goes up. And since the bulk of small companies do their business in the US, dollar has little or no impact. They also suffer less turbulence due to geopolitical risk and trade wars. So the Russell 2000 at all time record highs is another positive sign of a strong underlying economy. And as one strategist stated this week, you'll never see a bear market start with the Russell 2000 hitting all time record highs. Well, you know, as my mom used to say, from his lips to God's ears. Now, the new highs in small company stocks points to one of my basic tenets of diversification in investing in all the market, not just the 500 companies in the S&P 500. We review close to 20 portfolios a week here at Payne Capital Management. And over my last 40 years, I found that only 10% of you have even a dime invested in small companies, which I find is always surprising, not just because they're outperforming so far in 2018, but they've been the best performers over the last 100 years. <laughs>